all right so right now let us get uh, into fixing this particular error 403 now in case you are uh, having this similar kind of uh, problem with your website you have just installed instant indexing api you have configured it rightly and still you are getting this error 403 then this is the right video for you now in the last week we have published this particular video on uh, the step-by-step -step guide to install instant indexing api for your website using crank math seo plugin as a companion and it, we, we followed a step-by-step -step process to to get through this whole process and after those that particular video we got a lot of comments on how do you fix this 403 error and then we moved ahead and tried to do a bit of research on what might be the error or what might be causing this 403 error and we found that a lot of people are facing this same issue and that's when we decided to make a video on this uh, errors uh, 403 so in case you're getting this similar kind of error 403 uh, it's clearly mentioned over here there's a quick note over here permission denied failed to verify the URL ownership so we need to understand that there are three ways uh, that we can uh, check the URL verification or the URL ownership of the website. So whenever we create uh, an account in Google Cloud Platform, so we created this account in console.cloud.google.com. Uh, console and once you've created an account, the second step was to create a project for it. And under the project, we have created a service account. Now, in that whole process, we got an email ID from Google Cloud Platform that was supposed to be added as an owner in in our Google search console as well now you need to get into your service account and check if that particular email ID that you have got while creating the service account is added as an owner in your account or not so it shall be added as an owner to uh, in your websites uh, project so this is the first step to check so just check if this is rightly added in your Google cloud platform the second check is to get into your google search console so in your google search console uh, still the right website uh, from this drop down if you're having multiple properties added in your google search console um, head ahead head into uh, this particular section called settings and under settings you'll get something called users and permissions click on users and permissions and make sure that you click on this add user and add that particular email id in my case i have just added the email ID over here and ensure that the permission is full this is uh, uh, very important to check now once you've done that uh, do a quick refresh because at times uh, this users do not get added properly so yeah in my case it seems like uh, i have just added the google search google cloud platforms email id rightly in my google search console in this way my google search console right now is having a full ownership of my uh, google cloud platform so they are connected the third uh, the third platform that you can check uh, is probably the webmaster verification so the old uh, webmaster console so google.com slash webmasters slash verification and in this particular web page you will be getting a list of all the uh, all the websites that you're having uh, in this webmaster account now click on the right uh, website that uh, that is causing this error in my case this is the website i just clicked on the website and this is where i can get to see the different verified owners for this website's webmaster account and that's where i have just spotted that okay my service account uh, email id is not added over here so i'll just add it right now using this function called add as add an owner so click on this button add an owner and uh, just add that particular email uh, Im that particular id so once this particular id is added uh, i can now go back to my website and check if this is working fine so i'll do a quick refresh of the page uh, just to be on the safe side and uh, do a quick check on this uh, button sent to api and yeah we have just solved that particular issue error 403 it shows success right now i'll just get into success get status and check it again uh, for a cross check if this is uh, all good so yeah this looks all good to me and we have just added and verified instant indexing api in our website so yeah that's all from this particular video if, if you have any doubts any other questions feel free to drop in a comment uh, and if you are new to this and you want a step-by-step -step, uh, video on or, or you want a step-by-step -step process on how to add this instant indexing to your website uh the the video link is in the description this is the video that you have covered in the last week uh thank you so much bye bye